Hello everyone, Ronnie J here again, and uh, in this video, I want to talk about getting a web presence, a website. So if you want to run uh, an internet radio station, you will need a web presence, a website, and I talked about that in the video before this one. So what we want to do here is, uh, rather than me reinvent the wheel and create a video walking you through the process, I've already created that video but it's on this website at Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, and I'll direct you there in a few moments. But let me give you a very brief overview about the process that everyone who has a website has to go through to get a website. Now, a website isn't just uh, something you create on your computer and it's there. It has to be something that's connected to the internet backbone. Now, now here's the process. You must get for yourself a domain name. A domain name is simply yourwebsite.com. For example, uh, this website here, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, the domain name is ripradio.com. On the internet radio station.com website, the domain name is internetradiostation.com. Google.com is their domain name. So you get my drift here. All right, so you have to search for and find yourself a suitable domain name, and that should be a .com name. Not a .net, but a .com name, and that name should be a catchy name. It should be something that's relatively short. I don't recommend these real long domain names because your listeners and visitors to your website, they're not going to remember something like that. Now, something like ripradio.com, that's relatively short, right? Uh, and people will remember that. It's easier to remember. So you have to use your creative juices in finding for yourself a domain name. So you have to search for one. And I'm going to take you to the area on the website, on this website, that has a video that shows you how to do that. So that's step number one. Step number two is once you find yourself a domain name, you have to find yourself a web host provider. Now, what are web host providers? These are companies that have very powerful servers connected to the backbone of the internet and they rent or lease you server space. It's like a hard drive or hard drive space. And these are companies that hold or host all of the files that go into the makeup of your website, whether these are HTML files, images, videos, they host and hold your files, right? So you need to have a host provider account. And I recommend some very good host providers, uh, very reliable ones. And you want to pick those who are reliable and they have up, you know, uptime. No host provider can guarantee you 100% uptime because things go wrong. That's Murphy's Law. But you want to pick those host providers who, say, may have uh, backup systems. They have a, a backup system. They have a tertiary backup system. So if the primary system goes down, there's a backup that keeps your website up and running. And this is very important if you're running an internet radio station where listeners go to your website and they listen from that website. You don't want your website to, to drop offline. So it's very important that you pick a reliable host provider. And so uh, that's the process. So let me show you how you do that. Um, I don't want to recreate a video, which, and I've already done one. So you go to the Rip Radio Smooth Jazz website, come up to the menu here, and you see a link entitled Making Passive Income. Click on that. And you can find in there that I've created uh, quite a few uh, video to, uh, tutorials on making passive income. Embedded among those videos is one entitled Choosing and getting a domain name and web hosting. So if you click on that, it will run you through the process of doing a search for a domain name. I mean, in the video, I'll actually demonstrate how that's done. And please read this article. And if you scroll down, you'll see a list of uh, web host providers that I recommend. Uh, Bluehost is one that I recommend the most. Hostgator, they're, they're very good. Uh, Green Geeks, they're relatively new, so I can't really really uh, personally attest to them because I don't, I've don't never had an account with them, but I have had accounts with, uh, I do have an account with Bluehost. 
I have an account with uh, HostGator. WP Engine, they're very good because they specialize in WordPress hosting. So they're very good. Uh, Look at Web, they're reputable, Namecheap, and GoDaddy. GoDaddy had issues several years ago, but they've really cleaned up their act. So these are the ones that I recommend and preferably Bluehost. Go here and you'll come in here and you find I have two videos set up here. I have one video set up that shows you how to uh, search for a domain and hosting with Bluehost. And I have another one down here that talks about doing it with uh, GoDaddy. They're both pretty straightforward. So you pick and choose the host bought of packets that you can afford and they're relatively inexpensive as the video or videos here will explain. Okay, so that's all you have to do with regards to getting yourself a web presence. And again, that is searching and choosing for yourself a domain name, a .com name, relatively short, not a long name, and purchasing a web host package for that. And you can do all both those things in one place. At any one of these providers here, you can search for a domain name, register it, and also buy a host package for it. It's really straightforward and it really is simple and it is not very expensive. But those things are required to have a website. Okay, so this is Ronnie J and I'll see you guys in the next video.